Hi everybody, welcome. Yep, we're talking about stains today um, in this dead dupe or dream product video. I'm going to be seeing if these NYC Lovotics by Demi Lip and Cheek Tints are a good alternative to the tints and stains and whatnot from Benefit. I got the full line of these at Walmart. There are four, and I think I overlooked them at first when I got that Demi Lovato eyeshadow palette, because at a glance I must have just thought these were nail polishes, but they are lip and cheek stains, which makes them even more interesting to me. These from NYC are only $3.99 a piece and Benetint, for example, full size is $30. You're getting 0.27 fluid ounces with the NYC and 0.4 fluid ounces with the Benefit products, so you are getting a little bit more there, but I mean it's still a huge price difference, I think, to go from about $4 to $30. So from the NYC Lovotics line, you've got Cheeky Strawberry, uh, cheeky Berry, Cheeky Pink, which looks kind of different from the rest. It's very bright. And then Cheeky Red. And a characteristic that these do all share is that they look just like clear liquids. They look like Kool-Aid or something. You can totally see through the bottle. There's nothing creamy about these. And with the Benefit products, um, you've got Benetint, which is that way as well. It's obviously got that reddish tint, but it's not creamy. But then the other three from Benefit's line, Lolly Tint, um, Posy Tint, and Cha Cha Tint, these all appear to be creamy. As you initially swatch them out, they have this kind of milkiness to them. But then once you blend them in and they dry down, they appear to stain just like anything else whether it was clear or creamy, it's not going to have a different look on the skin once it sets. So I've got them all swatched out two by two here on my arm. So I'm just going to take you through one at a time, each one, and you'll see that, you know, some match up more closely than others, but that's kind of what these videos are all about. You know, what's a dupe, what falls short, what's maybe even better. But just a couple of non-color related factors to get out of the way first. Benetint does have a scent. It smells kind of rosy. I happen to love that, but that's not something that's duplicated in the NYC versions. Those seem to be completely unscented. Also, just as far as stain power, the way these wear, um, is one of them a more heavy duty stain than the other? I feel like they're very similar in that way. I've been very careful over the last few days that I've been testing these to apply like equal amounts of each product and make sure I wasn't way overdoing it on one side and they seem to last very much the same way. Something to know about these with each brand is that you can increase both the color intensity and I think the staying power just by building them up and applying more. And if you're really unfamiliar with the idea of liquid lip and cheek tints and how to apply them and how they work, I will um, show you a little demo at the end because I am doing a little half and half thing as I typically do in these videos. But just to kind of go down the swatches on my arm and compare shade for shade, first off talking about Benetint, which is the reddish tint from Benefit's line. It actually seems to be the closest to the cheeky strawberry shade. Benetint gives you that sheer rosy wash of color and I feel like the cheeky strawberry is just a little bit warmer. It's a little bit more toward red and less toward pink. I wouldn't look at these and say that's a total dupe but they are pretty close. Next up we've got Cha Cha Tint from Benefit and this would be that kind of peachy, well more of like a corally pink type stain and it does go on creamy at first but then when you blend it out it stains just like anything else on my arm here and the one that is closest to that is actually the cheeky red shade, which is very much an orange to me. I think it's full-on like peachy orange. So again, I don't think we have a full-on dupe here, but if you are looking for something more orangey in terms of a stain, you might check out Cheeky Red. Don't expect it to be red. Got Lolly Tint, which is another one of those uh, tints that appears to be creamy from Benefit when you first put it on. This is described as a candy orchid tinted lip and cheek stain. So you blend that out and you've got kind of like a soft berry stain. And the closest thing to that is the one called Cheeky Berry from the NYC line, and I do feel like these are so, so similar. Um, they've just got the very same amount of pink in there, the same amount of depth, and this would be one of my favorites, this Cheeky Berry. I love that color. And then finally, we've got Posy Tint from Benefit, and this is going to be your pink stain, and I'm comparing that to Cheeky Pink from NYC, and I've swatched them both, and I do think these are nearly identical as well. I think Cheeky Pink from NYC actually 
has the potential to go even brighter. Um, you really kind of have to pace yourself or you will end up with full-on hot pink with that shade. Now what is on my face? Do we have any guesses? I did one brand on each cheek and one brand on each lip as well. So I'll let you know now. I've got Cheeky Berry on this side um, from NYC. And so the way I applied this, I do a few quick swipes on my cheek and I'm talking quick because you want to have that brush handy. This is not a good time to lose your brush or else those streaks will stain on your cheeks that way. So blend it out real quick. You could use your finger, but to me, this is where my e.l.f. small stipple brush is a total MVP because it blends it in so quickly, so easily. I get the most even application when I use a brush like that. And then on the other side, I've got Lolly Tint, which is kind of the more berry looking stain from Benefit. Again, you want to work quickly, swipe it on, blend it out. And then on my lips, I did the Lolly Tint on my top lip and I didn't like mush my lips together. I kind of let that get set and I did berry, cheeky berry on the lower lip. And I just think they totally stained the same way. Again, you could build either of these colors up, make them more intense. One word of warning before I go, um, if you're planning to use anything I talked about on the lips, and I don't notice this happening so much with anything creamy, so take lolly tint, posy tint, and cha-cha tint kind of out of the equation, but Benetint or any of the NYC stains. If you're going to use these on the lips, I don't recommend just taking this little, you know, nail polish type brush out and putting it directly on the lips because it's instant bleeding for me. Like I could see it just going right up and feathering um, into any small line there might be outside your lips. You might not even think your lips have a tendency of doing that, but this is just the nature of these liquidy products and it goes for Benetint or any of the NYC ones. They will just kind of drift right up. So don't apply too much at one time. I like to get a little bit off on my finger and apply it that way. Or if you want to keep your hands clean, maybe you could dab a little bit of this off on a separate, you know, clean palette. Use a separate lip brush that isn't so saturated in product as this brush would be. Pick some up and go across your lips with it that way. That could help you, but you are going to notice some instantaneous bleeding if you take it right off the brush. So again, I do think we have a couple of undeniable dupes. The Cheeky Berry for the lolly tint and the cheeky pink for the posy tint. I think those are just super duper close. No pun intended there. Uh, the others, the Benetint and the cheeky strawberry are I think pretty close. The biggest difference would be between the cha-cha tint and the cheeky red which comes off much more orange. I think if you maybe never really experimented with liquid stains before, you may not want to drop $30 on one. So try one of these out. Give it a go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've got any other products you're wondering about as far as is it a dupe or is it not, let me know in the comments section and I'll see you very soon. Bye!